What's up with the YouTube? It's your boy, Zay. So, Wavy Entertainment. And I'm back at you today with another video. And today, this type video category is going to be different. We're going to be doing, like, a review on 360 Wave Processor. It's new conditioning method. And today, I'm going to be testing it out on my hair to see does it actually work. All right. So, based off from the video, you're going to need a hard brush, moisturizer brush, medium brush, and a soft brush. But if you don't have all that, it's okay. As long as you have these two, these are the main two. All right. Now that you got this out the way, oh, forget you also gonna need a comb too. All right, so to start this video off, okay, you're going to comb your hair out, make sure it's detangled. And the reason my hair is looking rough is because it don't it don't have to be straight out the rag. That's the point of the video. Oh yeah. Your hair is supposed to be like this when you do it. To show you what it looked like before and what it looked like but after. Alright. So yeah, you want to detangle your hair. Make sure ain't none of them strands tangled up or over curled. This video is also for waivers that like to over care of their hair, especially coarse hair waivers, because they seem to over care of their hair a lot and go past their maximum wolfing stage. And yeah, it over curls. See, I'm a medium hair waver, so it's good for me to go wolf longer than a coarse hair waver, man. All right. So now that you got that done, you're going to need a conditioner. All right. Dang, forgot my conditioner. Hold on, right, YouTube. Right back. My conditioner. All right, YouTube. I'm back with my conditioner. All right. The conditioner I'm going to be using in this video is called... Shea Moisture, Coconut, and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Conditioner. All right. Got that. All right. So, first, you're going to go run some warm water on your hair and, for, and soak it for about, say, 30 seconds to make sure it's real soaking. Then, I'll be back after that. So, yeah. Let me go do this right quick.
All right, YouTube. Also, when you're doing this, you want to scramble your hair up so when you put the conditioner in, it'll apply evenly and it'll go all up in the pores. So when you put it in, you don't want to just lay your hair down. You want to just scratch it in there. If you don't think you should be doing scramble washes and stuff, and you haven't been waving long, this video, this video is highly not recommended for you. All right, so now this is where the conditioning brush will come in. You'll now want to just get the conditioning up in your hair. And now you will want to go back to the tub and cut on the warm water. And as you're doing this, you want to be washing it out. All right, so YouTube, I'm going to go back and we're going to start from there. Alright YouTube, I am back from listening it out, and when you get done, you want to make sure you get it all out of your hair. Now as you can see, I have no conditioner left in my hair. Alright, so now that you have did that, I know you think, yeah, you messed your ways up, you're done with the ways. No, it's like really really simple to get them back and if you're a true waver when i say this you should not pout and be like Ugh. 
All right, so now you're gonna wanna comb your hair to detangle it. All right. And you guys are gonna be real mad after this when I say it. I already know it, I can feel it. And if you're doing this, you really ain't gonna have no choice but to do it. Gonna make sure you detangle it real good in order for it to come back for your waves to come back properly all right so now that you have did that let me go get my timer right quick so i can time myself i'll be right back All right, it is currently 11.05, so I should be done doing all the brushing and all that at 11.35. All right, so time is going to start now. So, yeah, I'm going to get y'all with this one. What y'all want to do now is you now want to brush for 30 minutes. Yes, I said it, 30 minutes. Yeah, this part going to kill y'all right here. Yep. All right, so now you want to start brushing it back out. All right. As you can see already, they're coming back in to form that they were in before. And to make sure that you're getting it good you can go for an extra 15 minutes if you want to you can brush all night if you want to as long as it's over 30 minutes 30 minutes is the minimum you can do all right As you can see, also, this method will tell you if your crown is locked in as well. As you can see, my crown is right there, and it tried to survive, but it just wasn't strong enough, and that's okay. You can fix that when you get done brushing. Oh yeah, and I have a good part. When you're brushing these 30 minutes, you're not just gonna be using this hard brush. You're also gonna be using your medium brush. That's where that comes to play in it. And then after that 10 minutes, you're gonna use your soft brush. So basically, every 10 minutes, you're gonna be switching brushes. So yeah. Number eight, so we can stop with this brush at 11, let me see, 11.15, 11, yeah, all right. And it's currently 11.08, so we don't have long. And the reason you have to use a hard brush for, for this one is because if you're wolfing, you want the hard brush to penetrate the lower hair. I know most of you 
just brush a certain amount of time or whenever you feel like stopping. And most and most of you people be the main ones talking about oh how to get three sixty ways and all the other stuff. And yeah, you just gotta put the brush work in, man. It's really not about the products. I know people who got good three sixty ways and they don't even use nothing. But that what's that stuff called? I forgot what it called. They use it for their dreadlocks and stuff. Can't think of it. No, it's not Suffer 8. Um, dang, I forgot. Also, YouTube, when you get done watching this video, drop a comment down below on what I should start calling you all. I need to call my subscribers something. I can't just get on here. I had to call, give y'all a name. I don't think it should be Tsunami Squad. I think somebody already took that one. Let me see. You got a lot of them. As you can see, you all can, can barely see, but my hair is coming out really well. As you can see, my pattern is coming back real easily. And now as you can see, I'm looking over here in that mirror right over there. Sorry for my finger. That's why I'm brushing like that, because I'm looking at the angle that I'm brushing in through right here. So it comes down like that. Also, YouTube, in my next video, it's probably going to be a review or how I brush my 360 waves or how does my wave pattern go. Hold on one second, YouTube. Hey YouTube, I'm back. So let's see what time it is. Currently 11:14.
And we have about, actually, one more minute. So, yeah. Once you're done with the hard brush, now I want to go get your medium brush. I'm sorry I had to keep going in and out. All right, let me go get the medium. Now done with the hard brush. That's 10 minutes knocked down. Now we're going to start our session with our medium brush. As you can see, I have a medium any brush. This is my any black edition soft brush with the black bristles. So yeah. Alright, so now we're going to start with our medium brushes. Go. Number 15 now, we're going to stop around, we're going to stop around 1125.
also, while we're doing this, you also want to work on your crown as well. As you can see, my crown is right there, if you can see it. And I should have brought my crown brush up in here. But with this medium brush, I can get up in those angles just right to where I can aim it up. Because I had this big mirror in front of me and this big mirror behind me where I put my camera up at. Twenty right now we have about five more minutes before this session is over as you can see you guys I have a hair strand right here that is still standing up that's okay cuz once we get done with this whole thing and it's still standing up you want to get you two plastic bags. Put one plastic bag inside the other one. And then you're going to do the plastic bag method too.
just want to know what it is, but that little piece of her will not go down. I'm going to try to put it down with this. It went down a little bit. And it want to stick right back up. That's okay. All right, YouTube. It is currently 11.25. All right. Now it's going to be different with this soft brush. With the soft brush, what you want to do is you want to run your water. Get the water. And I'm going to put it like this so you can see. But you want to cut the cold water over. Yeah. Cold water right there. Right. Now you want to just run it across the top of the bristles like that right there. All right. Once you have did that, you will now want to hit a couple times on the towel or something. But don't drain all the water out. Just make, make sure it's still damp. Then you will start back with the brushes. And 1126 right now, stopping at 1135. Let's get it. Well, no, I'll take that back. This soft brush, well, no, we get, we just go with the brushes. You want to, you can comb it out some more. Let's try to lay it back down. And yeah, I know this video is long, so once you get done using your soft brush, you will then go on to the plastic black mifty. And basically, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that before I end this video. So you want you to get your plastic bag like this. I'm just going to show you one of the old plastic bags I used to use. But what you want to do is you want to get the small ones. You want to get the like little small freezer bags because they're a little thicker. And you want to get two of them and put it inside each other. Then you want to just go over it like that on each side for about five minutes. And yeah, Zay So Wave Entertainment is out.